डियर व्यूअर्स थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय ब्लेजर प्लेलिस्ट दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सी एस एस आइसोलेशन इन डॉट नेट सिक्स वेब असेंबली प्रोजेक्ट आई विल बी यूजिंग विजुअल स्टूडियो टू लेट्स ओपन द विजुअल स्टूडियो टू एंड क्रिएट ए न्यू वेब असेंबली प्रोजेक्ट This is the web assembly app. Click next and so with the pleasure web assembly CSS isolation project. Click next. Uh, the dot net framework is dot net six. Let's create. This is the default template to apply CSS rule. In whole application of your WebAssembly project, you can create a CSS file under www root folder. This sample application has CSS folder. Under this folder, we can see app.css. This is the global CSS file of this application. If you add any CSS rule in this file, that will be applied to every component. For Blazor Web Assembly project, you need to add the reference of this file in the head section of index.html file. This is the reference of the app.css. If you want to add any other custom CSS file, you need to add the link of that file in here. Okay, let's run the application. Add some CSS rule in the app dot CSS. So here I'm adding a son. Here the color is. I'm putting here middle. I'm adding top. Okay, fine. Let's see. The font color of header has been changed. For every component, okay. CSS isolation means that you will have CSS rules that only apply to any specific component. To define component specific CSS file, you need to add CSS file in the same folder of the component, and the file name must match with component name. Let's add some CSS rules that only applies to the counter component. So this is the counter component. This is under the pages folders. So I'm going to add a CSS file. Content style sheet. So file name should match with the Component name, counter, and the ledger. Okay. It's added. So, if I apply this is rule for header, like I'm going to add here color red. Let's see in browser. Counter header has only been changed into red. Let's see in home. It is it is still magento and the face data is still magento. Blazor rewrites these component specific files. The rewritten CSS files are bundled and produced as a static asset. The name of the bundle will be the assembly name dot styles dot css and will be referenced to the head section of index html for web assembly project so for my sample application the assembly name is blazor css isolation let's see in the in let's see in the 
index.html file. So the bundle name is the blazor CSS isolation because this is my assembly name and dot styles.css. That's all. Thank you.